International travel by January. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because international travel is returning by January. But there's a catch. So unfortunately, my sister-in-law who works at Brisbane Airport in the international or in the international terminal is probably not going to help her out because this is for Tasmania, everyone. I'm surprised the, the planes can fl reach all the way down. <laughs> it's so far. Might as well just go to Antarctica while you're there. So, Aussie state to reopen for international travel in January. From next year, Tasmania will open its arms to 30,000 new international travelers each year after a new deal struck between the state and federal governments. Preparations will be made for Hobart, airport to welcome three flights a week from New Zealand and two flights a week in winter, according to a joint statement. Oh, New Zealand? That's not really international. Does that count? Okay. To be brutally honest, when you think international, do you think New Zealand? Okay. I know technically it is international, but it is so... The only reason it's not part of the Federation is because they weren't happy with some of the these, well some of the deals in our federation here. They wanted equal representation for the indigenous Maori over in NZ, which was quite good. Australia took an embarrassingly long amount of time to catch up. So maybe we could have learned something from our Kiwi brethren back then. So in some ways it is quite, it's a different culture to us over here in Australia. And they make some good cheese. But I don't think international when I think New Zealand. Sorry guys, it's just that too many Kiwis are around. The deal expected to commence from January 2021 is also aimed to, at boosting Tasmanian tourism and jobs, Prime Minister Scott Morrison said. I mean, why would you go from New Zealand to Tasmania? Because just think about it. Let's bring up the map here. We'll bring up the map and we'll have a look. Because, you know, you're going from, you're going from Kiwi land. And once this loads up, we'll discuss it. You know, there's a certain temperature, there's a certain climate, and it's at a certain position of the world. So we'll bring it over over here. Okay. So I can understand all the Kiwis down here flying up to Queensland where it's nice and warm. But I can't understand them going to Tasmania. <laughs> you know, I guess, you know, is it cheaper to go to Tasmania than the South Island? Or is it, I guess from down here, you know, it's slightly warmer. You know, from those of you that are living down here, what's it called? Where is it? I'll turn off the picture. You know? In, in Inver Invercargill or Riverton, you know, I guess it'd be, you know, nice and, and warm to go on to the summer holiday in Tasmania. But, you know, guys, I, I'm from Queensland. So all of this is just bloody freezing. You're all insane. You know, with you need to like burn pieces of timber together to keep warm. It's, it's, it's you know, so primitive. <laughs> you can tell I've been spoiled, guys. I, I grew up in Victoria. We'd come here every holiday for Christmas and we'd be in the beach like these crazy Victorians, we wouldn't even feel the cold. Now I've become soft like all the other Queenslanders, you know. 20 degrees to me is cold. So I guess, you know, maybe there's a flood of, of Kiwis that, that want to go to Tasmania, you know, and experience the Tasmanian version and climate. Oh, don't get me wrong, Tasmania is fantastic. So this has also been an incredibly tough year for Australians and particularly our tourism and hospitality sectors. But this deal will mean tourism from low-risk areas can come to sample Tasmania's incredible experiences, sites, and produce. While the pandemic might have set back the timetable for making Hobart an international airport, it is just going to mean more pent-up demand for the best Tasmania had to offer. There was this uh, crypto scam, you know, cloud token wallet, and I exposed it on the channel here, and I was, you know, asking the the genius behind it going why did you set up because the capital offer the head office for their international crypto business which was all based in malaysia they'd set up an asic an asic company to give it legitimacy and i found out i went through all the records and found that the asic was registered after the company website all this other other rubbish and i put it out there and i was arguing with the guy on twitter going why is your international business set up in launceston you know it's not really the hub of international IT there when you're over in Malaysia and running conferences. So 
you know it was definitely definitely a con everyone when, whenever you see that type of stuff you want to just do a bit of investigating this is why asic searches should be free you know but anyway anyway so there you go well you know this will be good you will have all the con artists now going to t going to hobart deputy prime minister michael mccormack added this deal is going to see more tourists at Tasmania's museums and galleries, staying at its hotels, eating and drinking at its restaurants and cafes, and exploring its parks and sites. The federal government will invest $49.2 million into funding 30 Border Force Federal Police investigators and biosecurity officers to ensure the international travel is safe. Meanwhile, the Tasmanian government will invest $10 million to upgrade Hobart Airport infrastructure. It is the first time in more than two decades that Tasmania is accepting international flights from New Zealand, says Tasmanian Premier Peter Goodwine. This is a unique opportunity to travel between two extraordinary island destinations and a terrific boost for local jobs across our tourism industry, including more jobs at our airport as we undertake upgrades in the coming weeks to accommodate international arrangements. The Tasmanian government will also underwrite aviation services between Auckland and Hobart for two years to assist the struggling aviation industry. Well, what do you think? I know there are a few Kiwis that watch the channel here. Would you be interested? I guess you, I mean, would you want to go to Tasmania for a holiday? Let me know in the comments. I, I don't know. They, they, they seem very similar to me <laughs> in just the geography. And I mean, you go camping on the South Island, you go camping and hiking in, 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 in Tassie, but I mean, it is different countries technically, isn't it? Tasmania will increase their quarantine facilities. Additionally, Adelaide, uh, additionally, sorry, Hobart hotels will create 450 new quarantine spaces under an agreement between Tasmania and the federal government to help Aussies come home from abroad. This will bring the total weekly quarantine spaces to 6,765 as agreed by the states and territories. We stand ready to play our role to help bring Australians home, Tasmanian Premier Peter Godwin said. Returning Tasmanians will have to be tested before travelling and yield a negative COVID-19 test on or after day 10 of their quarantine period before they're allowed into the community, he added. Officials from the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade will work with Qantas to give vulnerable Australians priority access to flights, said Foreign Minister Maurice Payne. Our focus is on helping Australians who want and need to return. More than 411,000 Australians have returned since the 13th of March, and around 30,600 have been assisted by the Australian government, including 66 directly facilitated flights. So there we have it, everyone. International tourism is returning from New Zealand to Tasmania. Hey, it's a start. Let me know if you think this will be the huge economic boom for Tasmania. And if you're a Kiwi, will you be heading over there? If you're, I mean, I guess from a Tasmanian, you could go up to the North Island there and it's almost like going, you know, to Canberra weather. Could be a bit warmer up there. Why not? We just need to get you guys all to come to Queensland. Spend your money up here. Our tourism, all our coast here is a bankrupt coast. Our tourist sector needs it. Yeah. Anyway, that's the way it is. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Would you be looking forward to these trips? Do you see it happening more and more? If you're a fan of the channel and you want to support the content I create here, there are a few ways you can. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve or KuCoin. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint or support us via PayPal. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.